Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we are going to set up an elevator to flaps mix. Here's a demo on how it works on a plane. Okay, I want to show you this mix. So if you take a look at my elevator, I got my elevator goes up and goes down. And when I flip this switch over here, then my flaps will move opposite of my elevator. If you take a look at that, so my flaps go down as my elevator goes up and vice versa. And what this does is, um, you know, this is, I think in the glider guys, I'm not a big glider guy, but um, I think the glider guys call this snap flaps. And this will tighten up your loops um, over here and it'll give you a lot more elevator authority. Now, if this plane was, say, an F-16, because I've done this mix on an F-16, you actually want to do the opposite, where as you give it up elevator, you want to give it up flap. So the opposite of your flap and down elevator gives you down flap. Um, I think it's because of the position of the wing. Uh, but in this case, with this particular plane, it's going to be the opposite. So up elevator gives you down flap, and down elevator gives you up flap. And what this does for me, number one, it does tighten it up and gives you a lot more elevator authority. But the other thing that it does is as I go into a high alpha and I start locking some up elevator, it gives me flap at the same time. And this helps slow down the plane for the high alpha and gives, me, gives you a lot more stability in the high alpha mode. And the other thing that it does is when you are inverted high alpha, so let's say the plane's up, upside down, I'm pushing a bunch of down elevator, it gives me flaps when this plane is inverted then it would be essentially flaps down flaps and so it does the same thing on the invert too um, yeah i really like this for stability on high alphas and it does make it a lot more stable um, up to you if you want to use it but um, i'll go ahead and show you how to set this up if you want to set it up okay before we get into this let's go over some prerequisites needed for this mix to work your flaps should have the ability to go up past neutral in order for this to work. Many flap setups can only go from neutral to down. See my video on creating a flaps mix as I will not be going over that in this video. If you have slow set up for your flaps, the slow should be built in the flap mix and not the outputs. If it is in the outputs, it will also affect this elevator to flap mix as well. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the mix. I'm gonna to go to model and go to mixes. So I've got my ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder, and my flaps mix over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is in this list, click enter anywhere in this list. Then I'll add a free mix and I use free mix for everything. And I'll put that wherever I wanna put it. Let's put it right after elevators, which is effects elevators. Name it. And let's go ahead and name it E L E V to F L P. Active condition always on for now. Now, with any mix that you're going to add to your system, just think of it as the most important things is source and output. Source is what I'm going to use to control it. So I want my source to be my elevator stick. So I'm gonna click there and choose elevator. And my output is what is this stick going to control? And I want to control flaps, which is on channel five in this plane. And that's pretty much it. So if we take a look, let's go to outputs. And if you look over here, I've got flaps, so channel five is flaps. There is my half position, there's my full position, and you see there is a slowdown. But since I created the slowdown in the mix and not in here, if I put the slowdown here in the output, it'll affect everything on this channel, including um, any mixes that you have. So you don't wanna do your slowdown for your flaps here, you wanna do it in the mix. Um, okay, so there's my Flaps, there's my flaps up, and also there's my
elevator controlling it. And that's pretty much it. So the only thing I would do, there's a couple of things that I would do. So let's go back to that elevator to flat mix over here, edit. I would turn on the plane at this point and check to see if this is going the right direction. So if my flaps are going down like that right now, then I want these, I want this to go down when I go up elevator. So that is going the right direction. But if it was not going the right direction, I can just hit the reverse button over here. And then now it'll go the opposite direction. If you have uh, two channels of, fl of flaps, you change the channel count over here to two, and then you put your channel five here and then channel six or whatever channel the other flaps on, on output two. And double check your reversing on both those channels to make sure that it's it. All right, so that's basically it. There's a couple things that we can do though. So number one is, I want to be able to turn this mix on and off. And to do that, all I gotta do is go over here to active condition. And let's say I want this switch, maybe my um, elevator flap mix all the way up with the switch all the way up is it deactivated. And the middle position and the down position, I want it activated. So in order to do that, I go over here to active condition, okay? And then I go ahead and flip the switch in the wrong position. So I want it to be right now. So right now it's active when I go up. And then when I flip the switch, the mix is gone up. But what I want to do is I actually want to be on in the middle position and the down position. And the reason why I chose the up position is I can now go in here. And if you see those little lines, uh, that orange thing at the, at the beginning, that means you have options. So if I press and hold, I have the option to invert. Now, when I invert it, it means not in this position anymore. So the top position, it is off, and the, bottom, the middle position and the bottom position, it is on. I don't know if that makes sense, but essentially you invert that on. So now it's active when it's in this position and this position. Okay, so that's pretty much it, but we can go over here, and over here it says always on weight 100. I can click on that and edit it. And then now I can go ahead and adjust the amount if I want, if I want to make it less, that'll be less over there. But let's just say we want 100 over there. And let's say that we wanted to have different rates for it. So I can add a new weight and say, this is my mid rate position. Bring that down to whatever number that you want. And then add a new weight and say, this is my low rate position. And I can go even less. So let's go something like that. So if you want, you can have three different rates. Let's go down here. I'm going to go down here to outputs. Let's just take a look at that. So again, I'm looking at channel five, which is my flaps. And there's my low, mid, and high rates. And that's it. That's, that's the entire thing. Um, obviously, like you may have to, if you have two channels, you have to, may have to match the flaps between, you know, to make sure that they're going the same. But honestly, if you had set your... Um, flaps and match them on the outputs, then this should be the same. This one should work just fine. So that's the entire setup. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me at jose, J-O-S-E, at freesky-rc.com. Or you can leave a comment in a video. I do prefer emails. I seem to get those a little bit more accurately than I do um, comments. Thank you very much and have a good day.